getting a job is 10 times easier here and i mean have the audacity of a white middle aged man if you're struggling with like dealing with rejection from little boys here and there job rejection will send you six feet under they didn't even ask me whether i had the skill to it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey girls good morning afternoon evening i was on my way somewhere but then my plans got cancelled last minute um for good reasons i guess but <laughs> but that's annoying so now i am um, headed to my boyfriend's house and i have packed my suitcase because i have an upcoming trip so i, was, I just came back to get more things for my trip <laughs> my goodness yeah and i've decided to tell you something else in this vlog that we're going to discuss in a second I'll give you guys a quick history class. Okay, so if you don't know, I came to Sweden as an au pair, so that means I came with a work permit. And speaking of au pairs, by the way, I'm going to do a live specifically dedicated to this because the amount of questions I get concerning this. So this is emails, DMs, and just questions, even comments, it's a lot. And I cannot keep up answering everybody one by one, so I'm going to do a live specifically dedicated to this i'll do it with a lady who also has been an au pair and has also hosted look out for that because there i'll cover everything and if you have questions i'll be able to answer you in person and we can speak okay look out for that hey girls today i'm going to speak to you guys about working in, Euro in europe in sweden as i stand in my kitchen <laughs> i mean my boyfriend's kitchen to make for him banana bread because he's gone for a, for a run I am going to talk to you guys about this and I'm literally just going to speak to you guys from sister to sister from a very humble place because honey I'm not trying to promote hustle culture. I know hustle culture is not cool right now during the soft life era I'm a, And I'm a soft lifer and I'm a soft lifer by the way. I'm a soft lifer. So I know <laughs> Hustle culture is not the coolest thing to promote and especially after the life that we had uh, with Mary, I'm still extremely touched by it and I a part of me feels guilty for making this video to be honest but um i had planned it so let's just do it and as we speak at the moment i have three jobs i have my nine to five job that's the job that i do to advance my career and then i have a weekend job and sometimes i do it at night and that's the job that i do to pay my bills because <laughs> there's something about working in the weekends in this country that is just bills paying and then i have my youtube which believe it or not it's a full-time job it's also a source of income if you do it right so i have those and it takes a lot of work to run all these things but honestly for me to have reached here there are certain things that i went through there are certain things that i know now that i just want to share with you guys and listen remember i am one person i don't have any responsibilities whatsoever so if i decide to stay up at night all night working i can't completely do it because i do not have any responsibilities and another thing is I, I i love to work and the reason why i love to work part of it is i struggled so much to be able to find job and now that i have it i really really value my job i really value working so when i get a chance i'm so excited i'm excited to make these videos i'm excited to go for work over the weekends i'm excited to show up in the office or at home whenever i need to work i really enjoy it and therefore i'm going to speak to you guys from a very very open and honest place a conversation i wish i knew before i started this because honey i went through a lot it's not as easy as it might look to some people okay this is supposed to be like this but it keeps shifting this is the outfit you know i don't know i'm trying to be stylish but it's not cooperating like it should the fuck anyway banana bread bananas two of them butter about 75 grams vanilla sugar bicarbonate not baking powder bicarbonate remember that and then a little bit of sugar sugar and flour and then if you want a little bit of splash into it you have cinnamon it's very simple to make this so now i'm going to give you guys tips and tricks that i've learned along the way the things that i know now and that just goes beyond the normal career advice that you're giving because i followed those and it took me a really long time so i'm going to save you the time i am going to save you the time so you don't have to number three five six and ten are the most important ones so make sure you watch those if you like this subscribe 
and if you already have a job please go down below and give us the tips that that you did the tricks that you had or the things that you went through to be able to get your job because i'm sure you went through something that could help someone if you'd forget anything i've said in this video the one and the most important thing here if you're genuinely looking for a job and you want it like asap you want it like yesterday apply for internships and paid internships even if it's like slightly compensated do that it's the quickest way to grow your connections and also to get yourself in the companies the bigger the company the better but do not discount small companies either that's it now no, let's go back to the video so number one and two are pretty basics that probably everybody tells you and that is you need two cvs an English CV and a CV that is translated to the local language of the country you're in. So if you're in Germany, you need it in German. If you're in Sweden, you need it in Swedish. You want to also use a really nice CV template and there are nice CV templates that you can use. Don't just use like a basic CV template, whatever. Google Docs or something like that has good templates. There are some online. I can put some links there. You can even buy a template if you want, but you don't really have to. Try having a Swedish name. Think of the most Swedish name here. Carlson. Carlson is a very Swedish name. Rachel Carlson. You'll get so many calls. <laughs> if you want to just practice for your CV, change your name into Swedish, do not put a, a picture, you'll get a lot of calls. But the importance of, get, of putting your picture is many companies are racist, meaning they don't like employing black people. And you just don't want to go through a headache of being contacted by a company that is already racist and then they find you with your Swedish name and then they're like, nah, and then now you're back to zero. No, just put your picture so by the time they're contacting you, they know this is a black person that I'm contacting and there's no element of surprise there. The second thing is register yourself in as many job hunting sites as possible. So LinkedIn is a good place to not only look for jobs locally but also internationally. I'll come to that later. And then there is Arbets for Medlingen in Sweden. So that's like the system that helps people search for jobs in Sweden. And then there is um, Indeed, there is um, Blocket Job. If I tell you there's a lot of job announcements every day it's crazy number three and this is one of the most important one is apply to as many jobs as possible and i mean have the audacity of a white middle age man okay do that apply for jobs that you don't qualify for apply for even if they say that they need fluent swedish whatever whatever they say just apply do not think apply to as many as possible if i tell you i was applying to like maybe 50 to 100 jobs per day Yes, that's what I meant. And the more you apply for the jobs, the more you spread yourself out and the less attached you are to one job because the amount of no's that you're going to get is a lot. And we'll get into that. Number five, and I tell you, this is a hard truth, but sweetie, I'm sorry. I'm, I also felt sorry for myself. And I'm telling you this because I feel you on this one. Your degrees and your qualifications do not matter as much as you think they do. If you think you escaped tribalism, nepotism, a colorism honey welcome to racism 101 it's brutal guys you can have a phd and so much experience from your country or from other places that you're in your job and you can be so good at it but somebody who did not even reach eighth grade who is swedish will get will get the job over you and trust you me when you get to your workplace you'll be surprised how overly qualified you are over your boss <laughs> Yes, so just know that uh, it doesn't matter, but I'll help you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll help you on how to go about this situation. It is important that you have your education because at some point they will use this to eliminate people. But if you're educated, at least you stand a chance. However, don't think that that alone will not get you into the door. It will not get you into, it will keep you when you're in there because they don't really have a, cho a choice now. But if you're trying to enter, sorry, the life, I'm using natural light. I don't have my light here. As an immigrant, as a black woman, you cannot have a small circle. Forget it. Small circles is for rich people. You cannot have small circle and expect to succeed. Hi. Hello. Just ignore me. I just ignore you. How can I ignore all this gorgeousness? All this readiness. <laughs> small circles are for people who are established, who have money, who are rich. Like, dude, you have a small circle for what? What are they stealing? <laughs> Remember when I told you that your qualifications and education don't matter as much, but your circle does. Listen, network as much as possible. I know talking to people is weird. Remember, we don't even talk to people here in the first place, but try your best to network. And here is why getting a job is 10 times easier here through recommendation. 
Recommendations will supersede your qualifications or your education. This happens here a lot where there is no job. However, they will create a job position just for you. That job will be announced, let's say on LinkedIn and all those job announcement places, just for formality purposes, just for, just for, just for formality purposes, while knowing very well who is going to get that job. So the job market here is rigged as fuck. Like I've not made any progress with my banana bread. I've just been talking too much. So now I'm mashing. <laughs> I'm mashing the banana. Back breakup. Have you ever gone to a job interview, proceeded all the way to the last part of the interview, and by this I mean like you've met your colleagues, everybody likes you, you know that that job is yours, only to be told no because you're overqualified. Listen, if you're struggling with like dealing with rejection from little boys here and there, this kind of rejection, job rejection will send you six feet under, I'm telling you. So I do feel like, not I do feel, but job hunt will make you confront your fear of rejection which is tough contrary to what you think learning swedish is not a must but it's a plus especially if you speak english stockholm or bigger cities there's an advantage to that maybe smaller towns you might need it more but it's not always the case and i think that this one specifically applies to people who maybe have like american accent or british accent if you're black do with that what you want this is something that I practice a lot and it worked for me, especially the times when I was looking for jobs that do not necessarily need some form of qualifications and stuff. Like, let's say if you want to be a waitress um, or you want to work in a store, the best thing to do is show up with your CV. I would recommend maybe package your CV nicely, nice paper tight with a ribbon or something and then show up distribute it to the people who work there and if they say oh do it online ask to speak to the manager ask to speak to the person in charge if you show up especially looking good this is the part where you can use your looks to your advantage it it will work and in restaurants for instance i do feel like if you show up looking really good they might put you in front seat or might make your waitress or something but maybe if you show up looking shaggy they might put you in the kitchen i know those looks does count so if you're beautiful take advantage of your pretty privilege and I know that's not always the case for everybody but you can fake it fake it with confidence fake it with good makeup fake it with good hair there's a lot of opportunities outside Sweden and even outside let's say if you live in Germany or any other country that you live in currently so for instance I remember when I was in Malta I got so many job offers just based on me speaking Swedish which to be honest I do not speak like a Swedish person I still have Swedish in me and a little bit of Kenyan whatever you want to call it you hear how I sound yes so that's that but if you if you have mastered the language of a, of, of a certain country you can use that to your advantage there's a lot of companies out there trying to get people like you and maybe in, your, in the current country you're in it doesn't really, really appreciate your expertise try spread your wings and go outside this is a recommendation from me to you sister to sister okay <laughs> pray go out go be outside don't be staying indoors to network with people there's people that support you that way and by that i mean people who will really really support you both mentally and any other way you can possibly think of because this process can be quite long tiresome excruciating it might destroy your self-esteem and even like it might be really difficult but if you have supportive people supportive friends supportive partners it might make it a little bit easier Malt and butter mm, yeah do you think you met all the requirements for the job that you currently have that I currently have. Yeah. Um, Once you've mashed the bananas, put in the butter, you need to put a little bit of half a teaspoon of baking soda. You can find this recipe online. Mix it, pinch of salt, mix it. I'm a very salty girl. They didn't even ask me whether I had the skill, they just trusted me that I had <laughs> the skill. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most white people privilege I've ever had. <laughs> We need vanilla extract, but I have vanilla powder, so just put until your ancestors say no. Say stop. My ancestors didn't have any vanilla, but they know. Huh. Vanilla used to be extremely expensive. So your ancestors were poor. They did not go to Africa or something for the hell? Chicken egg, beat it the fuck out. Like, we mix it. I like to do the deluxe version. I put cinnamon. 
This one too, you gotta listen to your ancestors. So listen carefully. Mm, it already smells so nice. I... Last but not least, I want to thank me. I mean, we add vitamin that is flour. Is this the urge to comment on our baking pan because this is a bachelor's house as far as it goes you cannot expect too much here the most important part <laughs> <laughs> yep let it stay for a while and then and then we'll eat it like maybe slice it in pieces keep it in the fridge so you can eat it when i'm away i hope you enjoyed this and i hope that you got so much uh, relevant or useful information you can share this with a friend a friend of me somebody who owes you money you can send it to them so they go find a job and pay you back <laughs> remember to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one until then bye i just need to take off my makeup i'll go to sleep and then tomorrow we will talk more